Hey, good morning, everybody. I am gonna do a tutorial this morning on some new makeup that I got and try out some glitters because I've yet to use my glitters and I have been watching videos on how to apply them. So I'm super excited to, to try them out today. Sorry, I am checking out Brandy O'Connell's Nail Junkie, um, new color street nails that are coming out. So I wanted to look those up really quick. What's everybody doing? Hey girl, I was just talking about you. Anna, Dada's taking a shower. All right, so let me go ahead and get that stuff. I know it's. It's really crappy out today. That's why I figured everybody's just sitting at home doing nothing anyway, so why not watch me do makeup? <laughs> Let me get my stuff. Oh my gosh. So like, I am currently obsessed with glitters. I don't know why, but I like have been watching about glitters and trying to figure out like how to wear them and how to put them on. And I'm not a big bold look kind of person, but I feel like the glitters might be like where I start. I don't know, that's a little too bold, but let's just check it out. I'm gonna make me a drink really quick, hold on. I'm still getting over this cold. So, I don't know if you guys like have tried Arbon, but this stuff is like legit. These fizzy sticks. My friend sells it and I was like, man, this stuff is good. They're expensive, but they're good and they work. So I'm making myself a uh, get well drink, which is daytime Theraflu and a fizzy stick. <laughs> All kinds of mixing and energizing up today. What is everybody doing? We're going to a movie. Oh, I wish I could have a movie. I haven't been to a movie since. What did we watch in the other the very last time before Anna? I don't know, it was probably like Wolf on Wall Street or something. No, I went to a movie called like Bad Moms like forever ago. I think. I think it was Bad Moms. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so let me get my um, my palettes. Let me turn off this light behind me because it's kind of killing my vibe. Is that too orange? Yeah, that's way too. How about that? Okay. All right, let's turn off the sports entertainment that my husband has going on. Oh, I can't because I'm on my phone. Whatever. Okay. Oh, snap. All right, y'all, hold on. I'm getting it. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. You know, just me trying to figure out life. Everybody else. <laughs> hold on, y'all. All right. Oh, hey, look, it's my sink. Okay, hey, sorry. <laughs> I'm back. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, Jumanji. Yeah, my dad saw that right before Christmas and they liked it. Okay, so I just blew dry my hair. Just got out of the shower and blew dry my hair, so I figured I would do my makeup really fast. I don't know why my husband's being like super sweet. His birthday's on Monday, so if you guys remember, just give him a, a happy birthday. Um, let's see. Okay, so the first things first, um, I like to prime my face, and I know this is super weird, but I've noticed that it works really well um, right before I do my makeup, is this Dr. Rogers Restore Healing Balm. And what I do is I take just an itty bitty amount, I've already applied some on my lips because they are super dry right now, probably because it's weather and the fact that I have a cold. And like I said, don't make fun of my lazy eye, okay? If you see it, like, go over there because... I look up, then that's just my eyes, y'all. I like to put it on like the areas that are really like kind of wrinkly, which is mainly under my eyes and around my mouth and like in this area right here. I don't know why, but it always makes my concealer apply really, really smooth. 
Um, so I got this new um, foundation on sale from the Tarte. It's called Tarte Double Duty. What? What? You want me to turn it off? Or did you turn it off? Hold on now. Now I gotta go turn back on TV. <laughs> right okay let me get back on doing my makeup before my daughter comes back up here asking for something okay so I got this new um, foundation how do I do this it's called Tarte double duty beauty and it was called shape tape matte foundation and I was really excited to try this out right it's like my life right now I got like both boys are sleeping I had to like take the quickest shower of my life with my daughter in the shower so, and like the whole time I'm just like, oh my God, where's my husband? In the bathroom, everybody. Okay, so this is the new sh uh, Shape Tape Matte Foundation that I got. I'm not like super in love with this. Um, it's very dry and it's very, very, very pale. I put it on last night and my husband was like, you look like Casper the Ghost. So I don't know if I'm like really interested in wearing it today. Um, what else do I need to do? Okay, so I need to put my primer on. Oh my God, five kids. And I think I'm tired with three. <sighs> it don't matter, you could have. And I know you're supposed to use like a brush and I, um, I don't care. <laughs> kind of in a rush. Um, so put my primer on, put it on my eyes. I don't use eye primer. I know a lot of people do, but I just don't. I don't know. I have it. I just, I think it's a waste of time. I'm sure it like does something. Okay. So like I always do, I start with my BB cream mixture because I would try, I think I'll just wait to use that matte foundation another time to just see. I really don't want to like waste it on today because I think we actually might be going out tonight and I don't want to look like a ghost. So, okay, I always mix up my foundations or my BB cream. And it is the best. I don't know why, but I mix the BB cream pure, which is like a matte, a mattifying and, um, a mattifying and acne skin clearing protector is what it says. And the other one is a BB Fresh. And these are both by Maybelline. I used to use the one from Rimmel. Um, but I switched to this one. 
BB Fresh, and it's 8-in-1 Beauty Bomb Skin Protector. It also has SPF 30 in it. So, that always makes me feel good because I never, like, never put freaking skin, skin stuff on my face. Or, sorry, SPF on my face. I'm, like, I'm all over the place this morning. I'm not look good. Like, it already looks like I'm wearing foundation. I'm not. And I could probably put this on with a brush, but I don't. Um, I used to be all about brushes, and then uh, I switched to the BB cream, and it doesn't really, like, matter now. Let's see. I mean, just, I gotta switch. Uh, I gotta watch my live on my computer to see. You need... Girl, you need these new lights I got. They're amazing. Uh, yeah, where, where are these lights? I would love to see those lights. Okay, let me, I gotta move these comments because I can't see my face. Okay, so this is like my ring light. I need to turn on a different light because it kind of looks kind of crappy. Let me just turn on the light behind me. Kind of lightens it up a little bit. Yeah. It's a lot better. Okay, so there's motion at my front door. Um so Brandy, speaking of lights, um I started derma planning and it literally like has changed my life. So thank you for that. Um I don't know why I haven't started it sooner. And it is the best thing that I've ever done for my face. Look how like soft it looks. I don't know. You can't really tell on the TV or on the computer. Phone, whatever. Okay. So I've already um, did my eyebrows this morning with my tools. I just need to fill them in. And I gotta find all my stuff because you know what? Mom life, right? How's everybody doing this Saturday other than the fact that it's like rainy and looking crappy outside? look at okay we um, are probably just doing absolutely nothing oh Fox News is on I hate listening to the news y'all Husband, if you're watching this, can you change uh, the Sonos to something else? I would request like Y2 Country or yeah, just Y2 Country. You know, I like that. Okay. Or if somebody has my husband's phone number and uh, wants to message him to change the Sirius XM to Y2 Country. Okay. Let's do our eyebrows. I just ordered an eyebrow kit from Morph on Ulta. Um, so I'm hoping that that comes soon. I haven't seen it shipped yet. I gotta, I gotta look in the mirror for this, sorry. And like I said, um, sorry, I should probably be letting everybody know what I'm doing here. So I use my Naked uh, Basics palette, because Basics 2 palette, because like I said, I broke my, um, on the last episode, I said I broke my eye, um, brow palette like a super long time ago, and I just haven't bought a new one. Um, so I've been using this color right here called Primal. Um, it's a pretty like basic brown, and I just have been using that to do my eyebrows. Um, and I've said this before, like, you don't have to do your eyebrows, but it does make a difference and it does change your look um, drastically. Ooh, I overlined a little too much there. Oh, well, we'll make it work. Um, it does really change your look if you're looking for a more like complete look. I know my mom like had never um, done her eyebrows before and then like I started, and I showed her how to do it and you know, like it really does make you look complete. It's almost like wearing eyeshadow and putting all that work in and then not 
putting mascara on. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm like messing them all up this morning. Thank goodness I do my concealer after. So I'm like super excited to get my new um, eyebrow palette because this is just not cutting it anymore. And there's something like all over my brush right now. I'm not really happy about it, but I'm too much in a rush to like look for stuff to clean it. Oh my gosh, I'm just ruining my eyebrows right now. But anyways, um, so yeah, what is everybody up to? Let me swipe over to see everybody. What is everybody up to today? Like I said, I don't think we have any plans. Um, I'm just doing my makeup just in case we do go out on the town with all the kids. Because you know, we got that party of five life going on. Okay. My eyebrows are like super duper dark. I promise you it doesn't look like that in person. This camera is just making it look good. Can somebody message Nick to tell him to change his Sonya's to Y2 Country? If anybody has his number, that would be great. Laundry, laundry, and more laundry. Uh, yeah, I don't like laundry either. Most time it just sits in places until we use it again. Because <laughs> I hate doing it so much. Okay. And then my, uh, you know, Mark and Diane come over and do my laundry for me. So they're super great. <laughs> Not like do it for me. They just uh, fold it because usually it just sits in a pile or in the dryer and continues to go round and round and never gets folded. Decluttering your house. Oh my gosh, how do you do that with five kids? I can barely declutter my oh, I can barely declutter clutter my uh, bathroom. It's just like crap everywhere. Toys. Toothbrushes. What else is always in my bathroom? Baby dolls. Bubbles. Okay, I'm gonna do my concealer now. This is my concealer. I use the Tarte Shape Tape. I love this stuff. Um, my color is Fair Neutral. It's taken four days, yep, yeah, you're right. I like this wand. Um, I guess it's just how you apply it. I gotta swipe this over, okay. So I always do my triangle. I don't know if I did this on my last video, did I? Oh. My little tribal makeup. I don't think last time I didn't do it fully, so I'm gonna do it fully. I always go over my eyes. My eyes are really dark. Ooh. I don't ever really have to reapply this. Like there's so much product on just the wand itself that I don't ever really have to reapply. Anybody else listening to the news this morning? All right, guys, I'm done. <laughs> Just kidding. Apparently nobody is messaging my husband to tell him to change the stupid Sonios. I don't want to listen to this. Why do country, baby? Like I said before, I always like pat it out with my fingers first. Mm 
And then I take my beauty blender. Do you see like why I don't can do my concealer and or do my eyebrows until after I do everything? Because when you do that, then you can at least like shape out your eyebrows. And I think most people know that already, but you just never know. And I've already pre-wet my beauty sponge. And this right here is like the cheapest beauty sponge ever because I got it from the Dollar Tree and uh, I need a new one. <laughs> so if anybody has a recommendation, I go through these like really quickly though. So I don't want like a super duper expensive one. I just like ones that I can like get gross and then trash. Like the elf ones are really good. Those are the ones that I usually get, but this one I was like in a hurry and I just needed something to get because the other one fell on the toilet because you know why my daughter took put it there i love this concealer i know it looks like super duper pale right now but it looks really good in person No, I'm not going to hug you. Go sit and watch Mickey or I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. Okay, then eat your breakfast, baby. Okay. So, I've already blended it in. I'm blend that a little bit more. Okay. And then I use my Stain Matte Rimmel Powder. Um, lightweight mattifying. I like this stuff. It really does mattify. I use this for, um, I used to just use this underneath my eyes to set it, but now, um, since I've run out of my regular powder, I use this kind of all over. So I need to get some new powder. I don't even know what, like I used to use. It's been so long. I think I use Mac for my regular powder. So I've just been like buying this over and over again because I like have no time at all. And I, if I'm gonna go and invest like in a really good powder, I need to go and make sure they match it correctly. Brandy, if you're still watching, I need you to like share the link to those lights that you're talking about because I do need some new lights. I know they were shared not too long ago. Somebody like posted something about like this mirror light that I really want for my vanity, but. It's like a hundred and some dollars, which if yours is the same way, then it might be the same thing. Where are you going? Do you got potty? Okay. My daughter is potty trained now, so sometimes she just like walks away and then forgets that she needs to tell me she's got a potty and she doesn't know how to pull down her panties yet, so that's what we're on in life. Okay, so I just finished my powder. Looks a little just bare. Okay, so I'm gonna do my face next. Um, and I think I'm gonna go with my Tarte Lips Pro, Pro Glow and Blush today. I think last time I used either the Hamptons, which just is like my go-to for everyday looks if I'm going quickly, or I went to my Tarte Color Wheel. I love this thing so much. Okay. I think somebody was asking about this last time and it was like, I don't even sell it anymore. So I'm happy I got it. I think it was like a, anyways. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna use this color right here. It doesn't have a color. I'm really kind of, oh, it does have a color. Um, it's called electric. So. Hey dear, yes. can you change the music to white two country? I thought maybe you had your phone on you. So yes, this is the tardiest. 
Pro Glow Blush. Okay. Take that. That's good. And electric. Okay. So now I'm going to do my highlighting. I'm going to use my Tardiest Glow Pro palette. Now, like I said, you guys need to subscribe to Tarte because these things are always on sale. Sometimes they're on sale for like 50% off. And then we're also sometimes they have like a 20% off edition. So I'm going to start doing some sculpting. Um, this thing is disgusting right now, but I'm going to do some Anna. Some bronzer. She's got her, her breakfast over here. And I don't do a lot of bronzer. I just do a little bit. I don't really want to look super contoured. It's up here. Why? Is it too loud? And then I do the sides of my nose. Do I need some more coffee? Yeah, baby, you're fine. I'm just doing my own thing. Okay, and then I'm gonna do my highlight. Not sure how I feel about this blush. Seems a little too pink. Try something. I'm gonna do my highlight. So what I usually start out with is lit. This one right here. And I take it and I go right on my cheekbones. Right up there. To my nose, size my eyebrows. Cheek and my lip. My lip. What's going on with my nose area. All right, so it's time to do my eyes and um, I got my two new palettes and this is what everybody's been waiting for is my palettes. So the first one I got was off of Amazon. This one is called Press Glitter by Beauty Glazed. This is what it looks like. Oh my God, it's just pressed glitter. And it is gorgeous. I love it so much. Me and my daughter were playing with it yesterday, so that's why I was a little dug in on the blue. But look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. Let me show you. I'll just put some on my finger and show you. But it is just pressed glitter, like straight glitter. There is no eyeshadow in this. There is no color, just glitter. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I could die. I just wanna put it all on my face right now. <sighs> Someone hold me back. Okay, the next one is the one from Tarte that I just got and I am over the moon excited about this. This is called the Tarte Luxe Eye Palette and it comes in this beautiful sequin case. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at those glitters. I haven't even like gotten to touch this yet, so that's why I'm trying to figure out like how I'm gonna use this, but I already kind of have an idea. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. This was on sale, y'all. I got this for like 20 bucks, and it was like a regular $60 palette. I know, I'm obsessed with Tarte though. I gotta get this glitter off my fingers. It's gonna get all over the place. Okay, so I think the 
look I'm gonna go for is more of like a like a brown and gold kind of look. So I think I'm gonna start using my Tartlet and Bloom powder palette and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, get my brushes here. I don't have any fancy brushes. I just got some because my lovely husband said I could get some. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, so we'll start out with some, let's say, I'm gonna do like a uh, very uh, modest glitter look because I am not all about that blunt life right now. Oh my gosh, I'm like so confused on if I should use my glow pro or if I should use, let's try this one. Okay, um, I'm gonna start out actually with my Lorac Unzipped. Um, this is Lorac Unzipped, I think it is just the Lorac Unzipped. Um, I know there's a Lorac Gold, and um, so I'm gonna start with the Unspoken color right here. It's a very like, it's kind of like a reddish brown. It's not very, it's not a very, uh, I don't know how to describe this, but it's not a very, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna go right in my crease here. Probably using the wrong brush. And I have very hooded eyes, so it's hard for me to get some of these looks unless like, like I go over my crease. And like I said, I'm not doing a very bold look because this is my first time using glitters. So I'm probably just going to keep it very modest and just do a very gold look. I don't know about you guys, but I could sit here and watch makeup tutorials like all day long on this kind of day if I didn't have three kids taking up my entire day. Okay, so I got that. I think I'm gonna move back to my Tartlet and Bloom, and I'm gonna use Jet Setter, which is a very like, like a grayish light brown. No, man. Hey, no. And now I'm gonna blend this out a little bit more, so don't worry, it doesn't look too bad. Smarty Pants next, which is a very, like, neutral color. Dude, you can go ahead and get going if you need to. She was fine down there by herself. Pat that in. Pat, 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 pat. Pat, 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 pat. That looks good. Okay. Then the next color I'm going to use is Flower Child. That is um, a, just a very skin toned, very neutral looking color. Put that right in the beginning here. I gotta blend that out. I'm gonna use my blender. Yeah, just go do it while the baby's around. Anna's minding her own business. Okay. So, that's like what I would probably just do by itself. That's a very matte look for me. But let's see. Um, I need to go ahead and need to do something here. 
Okay, so there was somebody who said that using any type of glitter, you want to wet it. Um, your brush. So I'm gonna get me a small little cup of water. And then I also suggest that if you're gonna use glitters, to make sure that you prime your eyes with a glitter primer. And I've already bought one, so I'll show you what I use. But see, that's, that's like already a nice little look as it is. Okay, so I'm gonna wet my, this is an e.l.f. Professional Eye Brush Shadow Brush. So it's just like a very thick brush at the end. Go ahead and wet it. And I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna use some Funny Girl right now, just on the insides, or right here. Just to kind of give it some type of shimmer, because if I just throw some like plain glitter on there, I don't think it's gonna look that good. So that looks good for me. Um, let me. Go ahead and throw some under here. Cause after I put that glitter on, I'm fairly certain that I don't think I can go back. So I don't really wanna mess with my eyes too much after that. So let me go ahead and just finish up the underneath area of my eyes well. And throw some of that unspoken underneath. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so this is my glitter primer. This is by NYX and it is called literally a glitter primer. I got it off of Amazon. And, um, hmm trying to find what brush I'm gonna use for this. Um, <clears throat> I guess I'll probably just use this one. This one is a, I believe a Sephora concealer brush, but I never use it. So I think I'm gonna use it for my glitter. Okay, so they say to go ahead and apply your primer, put that on my hand, before you apply your glitter so your glitter kind of stays where it's supposed to. And you're gonna pat it because you don't want to remove the glitter or the makeup that you already have on. Who's watching right now? I feel like I have a lot of people who pop in and pop off, so. Okay, and then the color that I am going to use for my glitter Ooh, let's see, where's my, okay. The color that I'm going to use is, does not have a color, y'all. But it is gonna be, gosh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna use this one right here, this gold. It looks like a very nice padded, like a nice glitter. Okay, and the way they said to use this, I don't know, I feel like I'm about to do this really wrong. Let's put it right in the middle. Oh, I need to look in the mirror for this. <laughs> yeah, you just do everything, it's cool. And you, do, you go right in the middle and then you just pat out. So it's a very like, not a very like concentrated glitter. 
Oh, I like that. Looks nice, y'all. Go to the other side. What do y'all think? What do you think, dear? Looks good? That approval. Ooh, y'all. I'm liking this. Okay. So, I like the pressed glitter. Um, I also have these glitters that I just got from Amazon, too. Like a bunch of loose glitters. And this one I probably would have gotten a lot more um uh wastage i don't know how to say that like over um i like glitter all over the face place if i use that and that's probably another reason why they say to use water on your brush and then to also make sure you use a glitter primer so your glitter doesn't go all over the place so so tips on if you're going to use glitter is use a brush that's very flat like this um like a concealer brush or like this one right here that I just had for my eyeshadow. Very thick, very blunt brush. Um, so you can wet it and it's a very like padded on type of application and it doesn't go everywhere. And then you pat it right in the middle and then you go out and in and around. So like it's not just like all over your face. Like you just want to like, um, what is it? A drag queen show. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner next. And like I've used, said before, I use my Maybelline woo, Master Precise pen. Um, I cannot do very much with like the eyeliners or the brush. I, I feel like I get a lot of overlay with that brush. Um, and I have two, so let me just make sure I don't use the wrong one. My back here, lady. Nope, it's right here. I think this is the newer one. This one has more product in it. I really like this, y'all. I'm really excited. Okay, so we're going to do our eyeliner. Anna, do you got her potty? Sorry, I'm concentrating on my eyeliner. It's very hard to talk. <laughs> this is probably like the hardest part of doing anything on my face. there. Cool. Well, anyways. No, I told you I'm not good at eyeliner. I hate doing eyeliner. Yeah, there's our eyeliner. Okay, and then put on my mascara. And I didn't bring down my, I didn't bring down my, um, what is that, that, eye, that eye, mascara that um, does the, like little lashes or whatever it's called. Anyways, <laughs> oh, I got a lot of people on watching me right now, so that's cool. Anybody have any questions about the glitter that I just put on? 
if you were just now popping on that I just uh, did like a little tutorial on glitters. So since I really wanted to try out some glitters and I'm like super excited about this look. I feel like I went a little bold on the eyeliner, but whatever. Fiber, 3D fiber mascara is what I was talking about. Okay, go ahead and put our mascara on. color lips I should do with this. If y'all have any suggestions, like a dark or just a neutral maybe. I don't think reds are gonna cut it today. It's a little warm. A little warm for reds. I'm thinking more of like a purple. Purple or plum. I wish I had that kind of color today. I need to get some pum purples and plums. Burgundies, yes. You think I should put a burgundy on? Talking. Alright, almost done. I'm just going to finish this side up. And I'm sure like fake eyelashes would probably make this look like super duper good, but I can't stand fake eyelashes. They look good. Don't get me wrong. I would wear them if I could put them on not put on fake eyelashes for the life of me and that might be my next thing to do is learn how to put on fake eyelashes so i have this color from unique and it is called splash liquid lipstick the color is sentimental mm. it's a very like purpley pink so we'll put that one on it's a matte color and uh, let me put on some lip liner first. This is the matte. Um, no, actually, I won't put on any lip liner. Oof. All right, well, that's on the floor. No lip liner today. I have a long eyelashes, and when I apply mascara, it touches my eyes. Yes, so do I. See that? There's some in there. Okay, so here is Splash. All my unique ladies out there, I love Splash. I love Unique's Splash um, colors. I have three different ones. And this one's a really good color. And I like Unique's um, Splash line because it's a matte. And um, let me try to get it for you. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And um, it's long lasting, so I'm gonna get a mirror to put this on with.
but with this, these, um, they're very like cakey. So when you pull it out, there's like a ton of product on the thing. So you just have to like remove it. Um, before you put it on, it'll be like all over the place. Right now I'm just kind of lining my lips with it. And then I'll fill them in. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Mm. Yeah, see this that's what I also don't like about the splashes that they kind of like get everywhere Oh cool Yep, y'all, this is my life. Can't do nothing right. That and a baby's up, so cool. All right, y'all, that completes my look. What do y'all think? Yep, just messing it up. I think I'm gonna go a little darker on my um, cheek powder really quick. Oh my gosh, I cannot breathe. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my little palette here. I'm gonna use these two right here. Mix them together. Much better. All right, y'all, I really like this look. I'm excited about my glitters. I'm gonna go and finish my hair and I will post a picture of this look in just a little bit. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about these glitters, y'all. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.